Hello and welcome to the first video on completing patterns. This video will explain to you how the subtest is structured and which skills are tested. This video will show you examples of patterns which you need to fill in during the test, as well as which rules you should use to determine how to complete the pattern. A pattern is something that happens in a regular and repeated way. Here on the slide, we have a traffic light as an example. Traffic lights follow a pattern. The light turns red, then green, then yellow, then red again. Here, the pattern is red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, and so on. Because you recognize this pattern as soon as you see a red light, you can anticipate when the light will turn green next. You are able to make this prediction because the change in light follows a pattern. This is one of the fundamental properties of patterns. Once you recognize a pattern, you can accurately predict what will come next. You need to know the following about the test structure. In total, you will have 20 minutes to complete this section of the test. There are 22 questions, leaving approximately 55 seconds to solve each question. Your task is to complete the provided patterns by understanding the patterns and then predicting what comes next in the series. This video will explain this process in more detail using examples. In this subtest, you must enter the answers on an answer sheet. In the completing patterns section of the test, certain skills will be tested. First, it is important to understand the question type. As previously mentioned, it's about recognizing patterns, understanding them, and then supplementing them correctly. Two skills are tested here. Firstly, the ability to recognize a pattern, and secondly, the ability to predict what comes next in the pattern. These skills will enable you to successfully complete the patterns, which is what this part of the test is about. Here is an example of what the samples provided on the test day will look like. They will be more complicated than the red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow pattern, which was demonstrated in the traffic light example at the beginning of the video. However, the process for completing the patterns is the same. Each pattern is presented in a 3x3 box that looks exactly like the box shown on screen. On the left, you can see an example where all of the boxes are filled in except for one. Your task is to predict what goes in the blank space in order to successfully complete the pattern. Let's take a closer look at this example. Can you fill in the blank and complete the pattern? In this case, an X must be in the empty field. As you can see, after every X comes an O, and after every O comes an X. This applies both horizontally as well as vertically. Next, let's look at the rules by which the patterns can be supplemented. There are a few specific rules you should learn and then apply while solving the questions. Sometimes these rules can also overlap. Please note, sometimes it is possible to spot and add to a pattern without paying attention to the rules. However, the rules can help you to understand and solve the tasks faster and better. Patterns follow specific rules. In the first example, we saw that the letter sequences were the same within each column and row. We should pay attention to both the vertical and horizontal pattern. Please note that patterns don't always follow the same vertical and horizontal arrangements. Let's look at some examples to understand this concept. Look at the horizontal and the vertical for this box. What do you notice? 
Here we see that each row must contain the same shape horizontally. The rule is, everything in the row is the same. Next, we can check vertically and see that an O follows an X and a Y follows an O. The rule is, everything is different within a column. Together, the vertical and horizontal rules allow us to predict that the empty square must be filled with a Y. The previous example demonstrated how patterns can be all the same or all different. Now, let's look at how patterns can follow a same different same form. Can you predict what goes in the blank space? In this example, the first field is always the same as the third field, and the second field is always different from the third field, both in the rows and in the columns. That is what is meant by same, different, same. The empty cell should have the same shape as the first cell in that row or column, an X. Here is a short summary of the most important elements to recognize for completing patterns. A pattern is something that can be recognized in order to make predictions. This is exactly what is required of you on the day of the test. We looked at example patterns with different shapes, and we saw that the patterns can run horizontally and vertically. We have also seen that the patterns within a row or column can be all the same, all different, or follow the same different same pattern. Here are a few tips to help you prepare for the subtest. First, be sure to practice solving this part of the test quickly and under time pressure. Time management is very important here. Remember, there are only 20 minutes in total allocated for this part of the test. If you get stuck on a question, guess intelligently. There are no points deducted in the subtest if you mark an answer incorrectly, so it is important to always guess rather than leave an answer blank. Finally, don't forget to actually write down your answers on the answer sheet. Anything you write in other documents will not be scored. Only the answers marked on the answer sheet are considered valid. Here is a quick recap of the most important elements to keep in mind during your preparation and test day. In this part of the test, completing patterns, your ability to recognize and complete patterns is tested. You have a total of 20 minutes for the subtest. During this time, you will need to solve 22 questions. It is important to work quickly and guess an answer if you have to. You should practice using the rules you've learned as well as practice solving the tasks under time pressure. In the next video, we will introduce the different elements that can appear in the patterns.